Now that Bill 19 has lapsed into public law, the Attorney General's office has indicated they plan to review and possibly amend its lawsuit filed less than a month ago. The AG, as you recall, is taking revenue tax along with the governor's office to court over its decision to renew hundreds of amusement devices and ask the courts to declare the regulations illegal because they conflict with duly enacted law. It now appears that they may not be the only lawsuit Revan Tax has to deal with as Daryl Stiles, the owner of D&D Games, intends to file one himself. Stiles, who declined an interview on camera, tells KUAM he's considering legal action as he believes the new public law creates a monopoly in terms of which gaming machines are licensed. Only following the law. Revan Tax Director John Camacho says it's not a monopoly, rather they're simply following regulations. The regulations specify that uh, the only machines that are, are authorized to be to be licensed are those machines that were were uh, registered owner before August 1st, 2001, and this is the regulations that we follow. D&D's machines were registered in 2003. Styles adds the licensing of only certain machines puts D&D games at a slight disadvantage. Meanwhile, according to Camacho, a total of 400 Liberty machines were issued licenses last month all of which are owned by Guam Music Inc. And just as Camacho says they're following the law, the administration too is firing back at those who have criticized its actions, instead questioning the actions of certain members in the legislature who are, quote, flip-flopping on the issue. It was in the 26th legislature that Senator Pangilinan, who uh, wants to take away all gaming, voted for the bill that created the rules that allowed the Liberty Machines and Symbolics Machines to operate. In the 27th legislature, when Senator Pangilinan was a speaker, uh, he was part of the legislature that adopted the rules and regulations for those machines to be licensed and to operate. And now, uh, you know, because of whatever reason, uh, he now wants to take away all gaming, including cockfighting and bingo. Deputy Press Secretary Phil Leungaro is referring to Bill 139, introduced in 2001, that authorizes the cockpit licensing board together with Rev and Tax to promulgate the rules to regulate all gaming activities on Guam, provided that the rules and regs restrict gaming activities to those authorized and licensed on Guam as of August 1, 2001. Pangalinan along with Governor Calvo, then a senator, and current senators Judy Wampat, Frank Uggen Jr., and Tom Atta voted for the measure. It's unclear if and when Styles will in fact file a lawsuit, as he's still considering his options in the hopes of having his machines licensed too. Camacho, meanwhile, says he is not worried and will wait and see what happens next. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.